we did as again a, a way to at least test to see if, if there was something else going on. And that was a breakout in quite the scene industries. And so we we checked to see are there one or two industries that are kind of pulling this down and everybody else is doing fine. No. no. Um, <laughs> all industries have broadly this pattern. Some are declining at a much more rapid rate than others. Everyone's declining. I guess it seems like part of what people are pushing on is you, you've identified this this problem, the, you know, the, the downward sloping curve, and then and then you've got you know a, the, some metrics about what what's really going on, and and, and I think I mean what you talked about, Jason. I, mean, I think we you know, all of us that are here probably at least intuitively feel like that that's right that there's there's something fundamentally broken about the traditional way the firm works and and all the technology and all the changes. So, but what what gives you confidence that, that that's it's the answer to the to the question that you've asked. The, the, that, that, the, that, the, that the big shift and, and the things you're measuring in index, that, 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 that those are connected to the, the declining return on assets and to, and to the declining performance of the firm. Uh, because, you know, once you come up with lots of different hypotheses, so it's more. No, and we welcome that. I mean, I, I would be the last person to say we have statistically definitively proved a causal relationship. We have not. There is a very strong and interesting correlation, um, and it logically makes sense when you look at the impact of this infrastructure. What is the economic impact in terms of reducing barriers to entry and barriers to movement? If competition is intensifying, we would expect to see more pressure on companies. So logically, it all makes sense. Now, God knows there are probably other factors and reasons that we could bring into this. And again, that's part of our mission is to catalyze others to jump in and say, what else could explain this? Are there other things that we can quantify that would help to give us insight as to what's going on? So, can we, uh, there's also some, some subtlety here in the sense that if you talk about how do you move uh, the whole notion of knowledge creation, uh, and how does that relate to knowledge flow? Okay? Uh, well, we need knowledge creation, but obviously we all believe it. The trouble is, if you're creating knowledge faster and faster, more of that knowledge is has to come. Okay, we don't know very much about how passive knowledge flows. We know a lot about how explicit knowledge flows. So one of the things that starts to come up here if you take this kind of line that <coughs> says, well, you know, there's a whole new set of questions. And, you know, if you do accept the premises, you know, what, how do we take our social network? How do we take all the things that we look at? And how do we can begin to honor the unpacking of the tacit to the explicit? How is that all? You know, how do you create shared practices much faster? All this kind of stuff. And so a whole new set of questions start to emerge, having to do with what the 21st century firm maybe has to think of. No, absolutely. That, and that was one of the things that was most striking to me, is sort of the human dimension of all this. So, I mean, because you can, you can take some of these concepts, that, okay, we, we can surface the social network and find the, the connection between people. But I think part of what you're saying is that, that, that that's, not, that's not where the magic is. And one of the things that was intriguing to me is, I mean, you're, it, it's an index, you're coming up with numbers, but, but you've got components there, like, Worker passion. I mean, that was very interesting. Well, you're not you're not talking about workers that side. You're talking about about people being passionate about their jobs, and, and not just customers being that. Like customers having power over brands or disloyalty. Um, and so, so I mean, I'm curious sort of how you how you sort of got to those things, but also um, how you measure those things. It seemed like exactly those are the, those are the things that said are sort of the most novel here. When it seemed like you actually had to go out and do your own original survey. Yeah, no. It, and a number of the metrics were original survey work, so this was not readily available. Wherever possible, we took work that had already been done, but uh, this passion uh, it metric was, was a particularly interesting one. And it basically came out of the fact that we spent the first six months of this effort just trying to uh, define a logic structure for the big shift. Now, what are the elements? What are the catalysts? What are the enablers? What are the amplifiers? How does that play out in terms of results? And then we spent the next six months trying to figure out, are there ways to measure these various elements? And one of the things that came through to us in that logic exercise was the notion that passion is a really uh, interesting <coughs> uh, factor in terms of how we participate in knowledge flow. Um, one of the things we discovered through the surveys that we did um, was that people who are really passionate about their work tend to be much more active in terms of participation in knowledge flows than those who are not. They're actively going out and seeking knowledge flows that they can engage with and, and participate in in ways that the worker who's just doing the nine to five job is not. Uh, and our view is that a key in 
terms of making this big shift and turning this performance trend around is increasingly we have to make our passions our profession. If we don't, this is going to be uglier and uglier. We're going to feel more and more stress. On the other hand, if we feel passion about the work we're doing, this is really exciting stuff. There is a lot of challenge out there, a lot of problems to be solved, and you can uh, do some great things. Let me say from the stage twist of because people who are passionate are not the employees in the most satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Yeah.